Hey guys, uh, I'm Bajit working with Mindfire Solutions as a QA engineer. I'm here to give you a tutorial on JMeter. In this session, we will see JMeter installing and opening the tool, workbench setup before recording process, recording process details, and creating a test script. Okay. Jmeter is a load testing tool which is a open source software used to measure the performance of web application. Additionally, it can be used as a testing tool for JDBC that is database connections, LDAP, web services, FTP and more. Okay. Jmeter supports parameterization concepts, assertion concept that is checkpoint concepts, uh, configuration variables that means you can provide multiple values with the CSV file uh, and I am going to show you how to install a JMeter tool after downloading it from JMeter website open your browser uh, and navigate to jmeterapache.org on left side you can see the download releases link click on that link it will redirect to the download page ok here you can find the binary file as well as the source file you can click on this apache jmeter 2.9 zip and save it to your local folder ok already i have downloaded this to my local machine you can find it in the desktop you, uh, you have to extract this zip file once you have extracted it will give you a folder uh, this one this folder there will be a uh, five folders here bin docs extras libraries printable docs uh, click on the bin and search for apache jmeter jar file okay jar, this jar file click on it to open the jmeter tool now it's open it's having okay you can see it's having two nodes test plan and workbench Now let's see how to open the setup workbench for recording the script. Usually we use workbench for recording process. Click on this workbench. Click on this workbench. And right click. Right click here. add non test element and click on http proxy server this proxy server is used to capture the request what it has been sent from client to server again click on workbench add a recording controller this will capture all your results from the request Again click on the add uh, then include config element add http request defaults this is user defined variables http request defaults and again click on it go to config element uh, user defined variables okay here this component is used to add usernames password means if you are having some login component you can use this user defined variables ok now click on the uh, HTTP request defaults here you need to provide the server name I am going to use gmail so I am giving the server name gmail.com and port number I am not going to use any port the protocol is HTTPS HTTPS for me if you are having Tomcat port uh, number you can give it here In the port number okay. path if your application is having some path you can mention it by giving the forest less here uh, 
Now I'm going to add the username and password in user defined variables. I've already created some dummy username uh, and I'm going to add the uh, use that here. Okay, I'm going to add the password. Fine. Now in the proxy server, one thing you want to remember is default port. Sometimes your application server will also use this port. In that case, you need to change this port to some other unused port. And you can uncheck the capture HTTP headers. We don't need it. We don't want it here. And I'm unchecking this keep alive. I don't want that. If you want to exclude image files and all, uh, you can exclude that using the regular expression here. Uh, you can find more about that uh, in some articles. Uh, net. Okay. So I am set here, with, set here all the components which needs for recording the request using the JMeter tool. I am already set. Next, uh, next let's see how to record a script. Go to HTTP proxy server component and click on this start button. Here we have the start button at the end. Uh, okay, click on it. Now click on IE to open it and go to tools, IE options, uh, connections, LAN settings and uncheck this all automatic settings and use the proxy server for LAN. In the address you can provide your local host and your uh, port what it has been mentioned in the proxy server. Just mention that port and uh, click OK. Okay, now just navigate to the URL what you have mentioned in the proxy server and log in with the same username and password what you have provided in user defined variable component of JMeter. Uh, that visit user 5, click on inbox. Okay, it's not logged. Uh, let me log in. This will ask for certificate continue with this. You can block this also. Okay. Okay, click on inbox. Uh, then log out. Change your proxy server settings now. Uh, this is loading. Fine. Change your proxy server settings to default and switch back to JMeter. This is default automatic detect settings. Okay. And switch back to JMeter. Click on stop. Now if you are expanding the recording controller, uh, you will be able to see the recorded script requests and all. If you are navigating to a service login page, you will be able to see the user and uh, service login authentication page. Where is that? Uh, okay, here it is. You will be able to see the username and password. This is the service login authentication page. If you are seeing the email in the email name, my username has been substituted and password also. That means what I have defined in user defined variable is same here. Remember I have defined the user defined variable with my username and password. Okay, this is just substituted uh, in the service login authentication page. Okay. If you are successfully seeing this, then you are done with your recording process. Next, uh, let's see how to set up the test script. The okay, click on the test plan, add thread group. In the thread group, you can see nodes like okay, you can see nodes, uh, number of threads, amp up period, loop count. Number of threads is the number of user you want to test, ramp up period means. In what time period you want to load the user? If you are giving 5 users and uh, giving 20 seconds, every 4 seconds one user will be loaded to the application. Loop count means how many times you want to repeat the same scenario. If uh, clicking forever, the test will run forever. I am giving it 1 year. So you can change it later on. Okay.
okay uh, right click thread group add a uh, stb cookie manager to manage your cookies uh -huh. okay you can copy this to stp request defaults and user defined variables to thread group because we are going to use the same here expand the recording controller capture all the request copy it and paste it to do the thread group i am capturing all selecting and i will cop copy it to, to the and to the thread group okay here well now we have created a raw script without any load if you want to test the same with load you can provide some users here uh, for okay let me provide for verifying any error while load testing you need to add the view results tree component now i am going to well you can bring that up for my convenience i am bringing that up here you can insert after um, user defined variables it will be easy for me to see ok now I am going to run the script ok I have not given the thread uh, users so let it be 20 this is 4 seconds uh, 5 seconds sorry and let me start it before that you need to save this I'll, I'll be save it will default save in the bin folder of jmeter test one save it the execution just got started you can see the green symbol uh, when it will stop it will turn into gray you'll be able to see some uh, if there are some error you'll be seeing some red samplers here we just execute executing not yet over you can see it's 20 out of 20 screen okay <coughs> yeah. you'll be able to see some red samplers here yes. this means error is there you need to see on which request which sampler the error is getting and what is the response data so we'll be analyzing able to analyze what is the problem here there are other listeners also view results in table summary report all those things here. you can export it uh, to excel file uh, all your results you can you need to analyze it uh, with your application with your uh, need and all okay Okay, I have showed you how to install JMeter, how to capture the request and how to set up the JMeter for capturing the request. This is not yet over. When it will get over, the green symbol will be uh, grey. So after it's over, you can just analyze the results from uh, any of the listeners you have added. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to install JMeter how to capture the request and how to set up the jmeter for capturing the request and then how to create a test plan hope you found this video useful thank you for watching this uh, happy testing bye bye